What's going on guys? Welcome to another video or welcome to or welcome back if you've been here before. Today I am going to be micro fishing in our pond and right now I'm just going to be using a live minnow. Just as you can see, who get right through the tail. Sorry for the bad audio, there's a lot of wind right now. Um, just hook it right through the tail and that should catch us a decent fish. Oh, that's it. Got him. All right, first fish finally, guys. First fish of the day is a nice perch. All right. First fish of the day. Not a big one. Little bluegill, a perch. Um, so yeah, first one, we're gonna let him go. Oh my gosh, there's a bass right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was actually a pretty big one. There was just a huge wake. Got him. Oh, no, 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 no. He's still there. He's still there. Come on. Come on. That was a decent bass. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right there. I still see him. Got him. Got him finally. Yes. Bass on the minnow. Yes. Finally. After like 10 minnows. Finally got a good fish. On the micro rod. Decent little bass. Probably 9 or 10 ounces. Not quite a pound. That's for sure. Healthy little guy. I'm gonna let this guy go. First fish on the minnow that I caught out of the pond. I'm gonna let this guy go now. There he goes. All right, guys. So now I am gonna tie on a unique, definitely a unique bait for micro fishing. I'm gonna be tying on a spinner, but it has a swim bait attached to it. So you probably saw this in the thumbnail, but I'm gonna be trying this because there are some really, really big green-eared sunfish in here, and they absolutely crush worms and swim baits. So that's what we're gonna be trying. We just caught a nice bass on the minnow, so now I'm gonna see if I can catch something on an artificial lure. Um, so let's see how that goes. Got one! Yes! Right as it hit the water. And it's a green sunfish. Yes, right as it hit the water. I knew those big green sunfish would love this swim bait. That was probably the third or fourth cast with this swim bait so guys i just got this this bait at walmart go pick you up one if you want so what we got green-eared sunfish man he's all beat up green-eared sunfish pretty good size one honestly um right as it hit the water right over there on the bank swim bait spinner Love these fish. They don't fight very hard, but they're super fun to catch. So we're gonna let this guy go. There he goes. All right, guys, so what I have tied on now is an even smaller hook. I don't even know if you can see it, um, but I'm gonna switch back to minnows. Didn't have really any more luck besides that one fish with the swim bait. Um, right over here, but we're gonna try see if we can catch something else with an even smaller hook because I was missing a lot of fish 
with the bigger hook. Um, so we're gonna see if we can catch something with a smaller hook. Got him. Don't know how he ended up way over here, but it's another hurt bluegill, sorry. Another bluegill. Um, not a really big one, but we'll take it. It's another fish. Got him. A, another bluegill. That's fish number four, I think. Four or five. Got him. Oh, that is a tiny one. Another bluegill, guys. Oh, okay, he just came off. And there he goes. But we're catching fish. That's all that matters. So, another one. Okay, perch. Nice. Got him. That's a little bit bigger perch right there on double minnows got him that's a decent that's a bass oh yeah oh yeah second bass on the minnow that one might be a little bigger oh yeah absolutely piped the minnow but watch this the hook just comes hook just comes right oh, okay never mind the hook just comes right out third time's a charm let this guy go right over here nice little bass ah, I'd say it's probably a little smaller than the first one still a good bass healthy um, that is not gill blood. That's just from the top of his mouth. I hooked him in the top of his mouth right there. So this guy's gonna be okay. And so let's let him go. And that's me soaked. All right, guys, I think that's a good fish to end on for micro fishing. Not so great if I was regular fishing with my bait caster, with my bigger crank lipless crankbaits and all that type of stuff. Um, but make sure you like and subscribe. Um, we'll see you guys next time, and if you want to see more micro fishing videos or more bigger fish videos, comment down below, and we'll see you guys in the next video.